Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to SQL Server video series by BISPtrainings.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough, a very interesting feature of SQL Server that is how can we configure database mail in SQL Server. Recently, I got a request from one of my client that they would like to implement the database sending emails feature into SQL Server. So I implemented the feature for them and then I decided that I should share the same functionality with all of you as well. So that's why I am preparing this video for you. So in this video, we'll be going to see how to configure database mail in SQL Server and how can we send an email by how can we send a test email and also and also how can we write how to execute a query for sending emails. So let's switch to that. So you can see that's my VM and in this VM, I have got my SQL Server installed. So I'm using SQL Server 2008 version. Down. Yeah. So that was my SQL Server and I have I have successfully connected to my SQL Server Management Studio and here under management you can see one option is coming named as database mail. If this option is not available in your environment then you need to reconfigure it. You need to update the features onto it. It might possible that still after enabling the feature you will not get this database mail option under management so this would be only available with ultimate version this would not be or uh, enterprise version this will not go with professional version so you uh, so you have to install enterprise version so I right click on database mail let's begin the configuration of mail server and I'm going to configure my gmail account for sending messages from the SQL server so right click on database mail, configure database mail, click on next. So as you can see here, it's, it's, use, it's a SQL Server component and it uses the SMTP protocol for sending email messages. So I click on next. I'm going to set up a new mail profile and server for to perform the following task. So I opt the first option. If you want to update, if you want to manage the existing one, so then you can go for second option. So I'll go here. I'm choosing the first option because I'm going to set up a new database mail. Next profile name. So I'll give a name BISP test mail. That with the profile name and here we have to set up the SMTP account. So click on add. Account name is BISP mail. Email address, I'm going to use my mail ID. Display name BISP test mail. Server name, server name will be your outgoing server. So outgoing server for S for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com and the port number is 587. Enable this secure. This service required as SSL. So I enable this. I'm using basic authentication. So basic authentication will be I'm going to provide my email ID credentials, which I would like to configure along with this mail server. So I'll just provide my details. Password and click on OK. Click on Next. Next. Just check the settings which you have done. Click on Next and finish. It will just make some changes and you can see I'm getting a success message. 
so the profile has been created named as bsp mail this profile is for sending messages bsp test mail and add an account bsp mail to profile bsp test mail with priority click on close so very first thing i want to do is i want to send a test mail and figure it out whether the mail has been configured database mail has been configured successfully or not so right click on database mail and opt the second option named as send test email and i'm going to use my same mail id this could be anyone where would you like to send for <clears throat> uh, for testing the mail so i'll just providing my mail id you can we can use any other mail server as well as bsp com and this is a test email sent from database mail on this by bisp and send test mail okay and the queue has been ready the queue is ready now now let's have a look whether we received email or not so you can see i have received a message a new email have been received named as database mail test and this email has been received from summit.golatdar@bsptrainings.com this was the mail id which we provided while setting up or while adding a new account so this is the one way of testing an email now let's write a query we'll execute a procedure named as sp underscore send underscore db mail and that will help us to send email messages through query so i'll again get back create new query and make sure that i'm on a master one and i write sp underscore help text sp underscore help text sp underscore send sorry underscore send underscore db and when i execute it sp underscore send underscore db mail so you see i am getting one error message here because this sp underscore underscore send underscore db mail it resides under msdb dataset so we need to first change the data set and then i'll execute this so you can see send an email from yukon outbox and it show me rest of the other things so if we scroll down we can check the details the required details now i'm going to write a query for sending email messages directly from sql server so i type a command execute msdb dot dbo dot sp underscore send underscore db mail and at the rate as soon as you press at the rate you will get various options at the rate profile name sys name recipient copy recipient blind copy recipient subject body body format important sensitivity file attachment query and so on but i'm not going to cover all the options i'm going to provide only couple of options like profile <clears throat> profile underscore name is equal to bisp now here we need to provide the name of our mail server so let's go and check the profile mail so what's the name of that profile so i'll select second option manage database mail accounts and profile click on next i want to look at the profile so uh, view change or delete existing profile Ex this is existing account i want to check for profile so existing profile and the profile is bisp test mail that was the name of the profile bisp test mail so i write bisp test mail comma at the rate recipients recipients is equal to submit at the rate gmail.com at the rate 
copy underscore recipient if, if it is required but uh, or I'll do one thing I'll just send both of them on same mail ID just for testing um, I copy this mail ID copy underscore recipients or C I is equal to it could be same it could be different at the rate body is equal to this is a test mail by BISP at the rate subject is equal to test mail and at the rate importance is equal to high and finally you are T A N C important and finally I execute it so I select the query press F5 and you see mail has been queued now let's go and check the mailbox whether we received any email or not you can see I have received an email named as test mail and if you see the copy has also been received on the same one so that's a test mail so that's how we can configure a database mail account in SQL Server for sending email directly from SQL Server by using a query. Now we can use this functionality. We can use this SP underscore send DB mail, and these we can create some procedures, and uh, by using those procedures and functions, we can pass parameters to it, and then we can send messages directly from our SQL Server. So that's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting. If that's so, don't forget to press like button. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on various technologies. You can share your comments. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.